Hello. Welcome to this video in which I get to meet the amazingly talented singer uh, Rebecca Ferguson who's got a new album about to come out that you can pre-order now. Uh, it's called uh, Superwoman and she is a superwoman. When I walked in, when I walked in she was just having her makeup done. She was like this. Mm, 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 looking stunning, perfect skin, perfect skin. Just kind of crazy beautiful, which I always thought Rebecca Ferguson was a beautiful looking woman, but when I met her in real life, I was like <gasps> In this video, Rebecca Ferguson uh, talks about being a mum, she reveals that her daughter is uh, gonna be a great jazz singer, she gives her opinions on reality TV shows like Geordie Shaw. I was her favourite in Big Brother, by the way. Oh yes, but you have to keep watching for my favourite part of the video because she reveals that she would like to be one of the X Factor judges on the panel. Uh, and I get to audition for her. Yeah, I don't think I will get to boot camp, but uh, at the end of the day, they probably do need some new judges now, don't they? I mean, if Sharon Osbourne does it much more, then her face will be pulled so tight, her nose will go flat like Voldemort, and Louis Walsh is slowly turning into a silver-haired gooseberry. And what else? Yes, Rebecca Ferguson also gives us an exclusive performance of one of the tracks off her new album. Either that, or I make her do a rendition of Head, Shoulders, Knees and Toes. Head, shoulders, knees and toes. You guess. But before we start, um, I really need you guys to subscribe and I need you to comment underneath this video now, so click there, subscribe, subscribe, because I've got lots more coming up. Um, TV stars, TV personalities, um, some really moving stories as well, lots of stuff. So make sure you subscribe, do it now. Literally now. I'm not, I'm not playing the video until you subscribe. Please subscribe. Just do it for me. I mean, it would just be a nice thing to do, wouldn't it? I mean, is that too much to ask? Don't get nasty. Be charming. Please subscribe. It's a bit creepy. Please. <laughs> subscribe. Please just click subscribe. Okay, thanks. Chilled, chilling. Just chilling out. Chilling. <laughs> We're interview number six, I think. Is that right or seven? This is six. interview number six. Yeah, six. Oh, you must be absolutely knackered. I'm a little bit tired. I'll tell you what got me tired. So last night, I am showing off now, by the way, aren't I? So I got invited to sing for Goldie Horn. So I was a, bit, no a way. little bit nervous. Yeah, so a little bit nervous as you know. She stage bombed the stage. Ran she on. just ran on. And then like mid song, I'm trying to sing. She just like gives me a big hug. Oh, she's lovely. That's yeah, so amazing. I was up last night dancing with Goldie. What's that film with Goldie Horn? It's one of my favorites where I remember it because uh, as a, uh, a boy who was going to grow up to be a gay man, this was quite a religious <laughs> experience for me actually. It was, um, she had like a shoe rack where you turned like a handle and all the shoes moved forward and out. Oh, it's I know the one and it's the best one and it's the one with Kate Russell in it. With That's husband. right. That's oh, where they met. And she has loads of kids in it. Overboard. Yeah, it's the best. That's, what was she like? Did you talk to her? She's afterwards? like, do you know what? The best way to describe it, with no offence at all, is like a nice warm scouse mum. That's what she a nice like. warm she's scouse like a proper mom. hugger. Come here, love, for the real stuff. Got your new album coming out. When is that? Um, 14th of October. It's about a breakup. But ultimately it's positive because I build myself back up through the music. I've always wondered when you're in the rec recording studio and you're looking through the glass, yeah. like the person with all the buttons, Yeah. do you get nervous? If I know the producer really well, it doesn't bother me. Like right. It's like, oh, there's going to be some bum notes and you're going to deal with it. And what do you do? Like Beyonce says she goes into, is it Sasha Fierce? Just to kind of try and put herself into a headspace where she's like dead confident and nothing's going to face her. Do you have like an alter ego that you go into when you're performing or? No, I haven't got one. I need one. How do they work out your porn name? It's, your, <laughs> it's the name of your first pet and the first street you lived on. First pet. <laughs> Tough and strive. <laughs> Tough and strive. <laughs> That's actually pretty good. That's hilarious. I think we've just found your alter ego. There we go. Chappens is coming out, baby. That's exclusive. In those early days with X Factor, I presume you had butterflies in your tummy. I had stage fright and anxiety combined, which is just like the worst cocktail. If you're putting someone on telly in front of millions of people, it's like torture. <laughs> yeah, I know a bit about that. When I was on Big Brother, I had yeah. a lot of anxiety. Yeah, 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 you're gonna. Sometimes it'll just suddenly come on you. Like, I was doing a breakfast TV the other day, and I felt really fine, and then halfway into the show, I was like, oh no, I'm freaking out. Oh no, I'm on live TV. 
oh, what am I going to do? Yeah. <laughs> I all of a sudden think I'm going to get, like, Tourette's. <laughs> <laughs> Is that random? Like, I start thinking, whoa, what if I shout out something really crazy on live TV? But <laughs> Top and Strive might have a potty <laughs> mouth. That's what it is. Do you know about the X Factor? I, I've been watching it recently. Mm. I think it's... Well, no, actually, let me rephrase that. I don't want to really? piss off the producers. <laughs> no, um, do you think the judging, judging panel's good? Do you think they need... Rebecca I Ferguson think, on it? Or? I think that's what it's missing. I think maybe <laughs> if you like brought me back on as a judge, I think the ratings would be like, whew. I'd be quite kind but strict as well. Yeah. I should, I'd tell you, you be a judge now, I'm going to sing a bit. Okay, All let's right? do this. You've got to go in there like with improper X Factor style, like Whitney. Whitney, you want a little Whitney? If I should stay i would only be in the way but i know some of the words i've lost the words okay uh, i've not finished yet <laughs> i will always love you In the hand. Love you. No, it's more of a rain. You gotta let it rain like Mariah's like. Whoo. You only get that once. Whoo. Should I put an American accent on when I say this? <laughs> no, <laughs> you're not just stone. Okay, I think that maybe you can't sing. However, I could hear possible potential. So it's three yeses. What advice would you give to someone actually who what, who can't sing it's and I can't really sing? Bad. Okay, I yeah, would all right. say. Oh, no, no, okay, sorry. Rub it in. <laughs> Jeez, you should definitely be on the judging panel. Uh, yeah, it just cuts like... you. It was really bad. Get out. I don't think this is your talent. However, you know, God gives us all different talents, and maybe <laughs> you need to find yours. I prefer Get Out. Do you? Yeah. yeah. What's your favourite track on the album? Okay, Dance to Mistress. There's a song on there called Mistress. Okay. Um, pay for it is like chill to home, having a glass of wine with me mate. Stones is like on your own, wanting a proper cry kind of tune. That sounds like my kind of tune. Oceans is like a little bit dancey. I so I've got a mix. Eclectic. Eclectic. Is that right? You've got a kid? Three. You're three now. Three I'm kids. behind. Yeah. Wow. I'm three. <laughs> You're not like Brangelina yet. Thank no, goodness. I'm not With like quite 12 there, or yeah. something. Yeah. But I've heard Brad single, so. You know. So. Either. I'm joking, like. <laughs> He's older than me. Brad Pitt's <laughs> too old for Rebecca. Stop yeah. calling. It's getting weird. But when you've got three kids to look after, what ages are they? They are 11. No. Oh, yeah, 11, 10, and almost two. And I'm, yeah, I'm a bit nervous in this era of selfies and counting and I watched Geordie Shore and I was like oh my god is this actually happening like what are these people doing it really is a worry because they you watch it and you think that's someone's daughter don't you yeah no I hope Lily isn't going to be doing that anytime soon if your daughter <clears throat> your kids are seeing you looking mum's looking dead glamorous and she's performing on stage do they want to emulate that do you think do you think they're going to grow up to be performers too I think Lily might do. It's yeah. looking that way, yeah. And she sings really well. She's got a really amazing jazz voice, actually, for yeah. someone so young. So I'll be bringing her into Sony soon. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, could, we, could, we, could we sing a little duet or something? like? <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm just clearing my throat. Don't be overly scared off by my voice. No, I, I won't. Don't be daunted. No, because you sing so well. Like I don't I want to like... upstage you. No, don't do that, please. <laughs> <laughs> You're not in the right key, Rebecca. Because I'm so dry. Let's do this. Come on, guys. Woo! This is an exclusive okay. Rebecca Ferguson, one of the biggest <laughs> tracks on her new album. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes. <laughs> you better finish it on my own. Heads, heads, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes, and eyes, and ears, and mouth, and nose. Heads, shoulders, knees and toes. I can't believe I just got you to do that. You're so sweet. Thank you so oh, much. Thank you. That's fine. Um, tell uh, my viewers all the things they need to know. If you've ever been through a breakup, and if you ever need to get back to... Wait, no. <clears throat> okay. If you've ever been through a breakup, 
and you ever need to rebuild yourself up again and he's been a real bastard and you're just like you know what I need an album I can play that's gonna get me out there to find a new man you need Superwoman baby girl boom boom <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Good luck. I hope the rest of your interviews aren't too boring. I bet they won't get you They're going to be so boring now, aren't they? <laughs> so cool. I loved her to bits. From my point of view, I really want you to follow me on Twitter, Andy West TV, if you don't already. I want you to find me on Instagram, Real Andy West. And on Facebook, I have a Facebook page, also Real Andy West. And most importantly of all, please, 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 click subscribe. Until the next video, have a good one.